Good morning, everybody. My little Easter basket here. Look at that. A chameleon antenna. In my, who needs candy? Let's check out this chameleon antenna and make a couple contacts. All right, so today on Easter morning, we're going to play with the chameleon and fed half wave. This is the C EFHW. It's on like a printed circuit board looking thing and a toroid in the middle, right? And the way it comes is without this adapter here. So you get this here, okay? And this could be used for two ways. If you want to use it for an end fed half wave here, you can connect that. Or you could use it as a dipole. Notice the two dipole screws here, wing nuts. So depending on how you feed this thing, end fed half wave on this one or dipole on this one. And then it comes with the 25 foot of RG216 with the little mini choke here, mini ferret here, and BNCs. So primarily geared for something like an ICOM 705, but you can use an adapter like I'm going to do to use a different coax because traditionally this is used to be, you know, basically <clears throat> if you can get this thing up like 20, it's 16 to 20 feet in the air and then connect your little micro coax here to your radio and then the long wire here to the end fed portion or if you want to use this as a dipole you will take two pieces of wire like this for the band that you want and put them on here this basically I think comes with a wire as an end fed half wave dipole it'll do 40 20 15 and 10 but with a tuner much like the chameleon tuner right here, which I'll use this in another video, this chameleon tuner, you could use it with this and get like seven bands or more than what it's originally made for. But without a tuner, just using this right here in this little bag, bring this out. It's not, I mean, this entire thing is less than two pounds. So very small, very compact, very effective. Um, and, you know, we're going to set this up as an end fed half wave. Okay and see if we can make one or two contacts on here. But like I said, because of my situation, tower's not done yet, I got a tripod and a carbon fiber mast, this might not be long enough for me to be under this, you know, overhang here for that. So I'm going to use my ABR Industries cable, but in, in a nutshell, you could use all this together with one radio and just put it in a tree or a palm tree or a tree branch right above your head one two three drop this down to you know put this up in the tree with your bongo tie not bongonis rick and four wrw thought these were called bongontees no they're bongo ties tie this up here run your wire down put this wire on the end let's see what happens all right i got it staked right here and here is my antenna set up for the day there is the end-fed halfway feed point with my ABR Industries coax, and that is that far away. So let's see what happens. All right, so here's 10 meters. We're on the 705 with just 10 watts. Right, just 10 watts. All right, no amplifier today. I'm sorry, go. I need your number, your number. Let's see if I can get this guy. Okay, one eight, uh, one eight eighteen. Thank you, uh, QRZ, November Tango Zero, Echo, Echo. Kilo Juliet Four, Yankee Zulu India. Uh, Kilo Juliet. Kilo Juliet Four, Yankee Zulu India. Kilo Juliet Four, Yankee Zulu India. Five nine one eight seven one. Uh, I, you're, you're. Uh, I'll give you a five nine, but I'm not sure of the contest over. Uh, am I your first contact in the contest? Absolutely, you're a solid 5.9 on my ass meter, go ahead. Okay, yeah, so I'm 5.9 number one, and the next guy you work will be 5.9 number two, and so on, okay? Roger, I just set up an antenna in the backyard, wanted to try it, heard this, and I figured, hey, you're number one, so 7.3. Yeah, you're 5 and 7 up here into Minnesota, good luck. Good luck, 7.3. All right, uh, so said, November Tango Zero. Hey, Echo listen, Echo. as as an amateur radio operator, we don't have to know all the answers. I didn't know there was a contest uh, today, Yankee? but he was a solid five nine. So uh, five nine zero one. So let's try number two. Let's try number two. 
KK7, thank you. QRZ, Papa Japan, 4 Kilo. Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Uh, who's the Yankee, Zulu, India? Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India, 5902. Uh, thank you for number two and your 595273. Roger, good luck. Thank you, QRZ, Papa Say Japan, 4 it's Kilo. It's working on 10. Let's try 15. Okay, so we're going to, this is contest weekend. We're going to up the ante a little bit with a little amplifier that I use here, my little bio in there. So let's, let's try this. How about this? Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Uh, yes, Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. What's that before the India? Kilo, that's Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Your 591407, 1407. I'll give you a 57 number 03, Roger. That's Roger, 0303. Three, thank you very much. Good luck. So, so it takes a little bit of power Making sometimes in a contest. And I don't like that delay on that amplifier, but that's what I got to work with right now. Thank you, Captain. All right, let's try it with a little bit of power on 10 meters. Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Uh, something, Juliet 4? Yes, uh, Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Yankee, Zulu, India, uh, five, uh, 595296. Uh, five, uh, Roger, you're 5904. Roger, Roger. Where's that? Okay, so it's working. Uh, okay. Whiskey Kilo 7. Now, will it work on 17 meters? Kilo, Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Eric, you at home or you mobile today? K5 VWZ. No, I knew you'd be there, brother. Hey, this is KJ4YZI. Hello, Tom. Uh, we are home in the backyard right now playing with a new chameleon antenna. So I I just figured I'd jump over to 17 and see who was there. Roger? I got you. Well, you know me. I'm here. So um, we're just uh, we're catching a few guys. And, uh, you know, you're one of them. Good morning to you. Happy Easter. Yeah, man. Happy Easter. What kind of signal do I got over there today? Four and a two, four and a two. All right, Roger. Well, the antenna is not exactly tuned for this band, but I could use a tuner. But, hey, I may check in today on Easter in the pool with a cigar, Roger. <laughs> okay. All right, Eric. We'll see you in a little bit. I mean, it's way early, but I put you on the list. We'll be listening for you uh, here in a little bit, okay? All right, Tom. Thanks a lot, man. 7-3, KJ4YZI. We'll call it portable today. Eric, see you in a bit, KJ4, why is that I portable, K5, VWZ? All right, so that's, <clears throat> that's, that's this right here. Let me go, let me go like this. There it is. There it is, all right. All right, so uh, I could use this with that chameleon tuner and, and make it even better on 17. Maybe I'll do that in that video, but anyways, uh, chameleon, chameleon antenna never ceases to amaze me uh good stuff man good stuff and i might jump in the pool and do this on easter sunday it's a little chilly in there it's about 78 but we could get the sam adams umbrella popped open and maybe do some contacts in the pool seven three Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.